Shelley Overton, and this is the horoscope for Scorpio and Scorpio rising for the month of August and into September. And you can get me at astrologerangel.com. Okay, Scorpio, you've got Mars coming up on Saturn in your first house. That's the self and identity. So you've been feeling a lot of drive to square things away, get it done, um, get things closer to the way you want it, and you've probably felt a bit of uh, resistance, a lot of resistance, from the energies around you. So you've got Saturn and Scorpio, and right now that means, sorry, a little tickle there. Um, Saturn and Scorpio means that there's a restriction or a needing to own up to responsibility regarding your own desires and what it is you feel you're worth and in some capacity. And so as Mars comes up to Saturn, there's definitely a need to own the action that you take with regards to your value and what you're doing within yourself, you know, who you are as a person. Okay, so um, that energy is in sextile to Pluto right now, and Pluto is about structure also, and Pluto rules Scorpio, and Capricorn is Saturn, so they are in mutual receptivity, Saturn and Scorpio, and Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, and Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn. So it's a very um, synergistic relationship, and it's about communicating. It's about owning and being a teacher and really having something to give and knowing your value and owning up to it, living up to it, and taking action on it, creating the structure of it, and it's about the career. It's about life purpose. So um, Pluto is squaring Uranus and it, today, actually, as this minute, as I'm talking, the moon is at uh, 16 degrees Aries, and so is Uranus. So the moon and, and Uranus are conjunct right now, and that will, of course, change because the moon shifts every couple days. But the energy of Uranus in Aries is finding the truth about whatever energy it, it is transiting. So for you, it's in your house of work and health. And uh, Uranus in Aries, it can be about the head, it can be neurological, and it can be about the nervous system. Um, it can also be about joints and the ankles. So if you've been feeling health issues regarding those, I have a Scorpio rising and I have Uranus right there for my chart. And I've definitely been feeling more joint pain and um, occasionally like an anxiety, which you can feel at this time too. Anxiousness just means that you're picking up a lot of electrical energy around you and you need to ground more just like you would electricity in a house. So if you can do that, um, that would be really helpful. You've also got a trine going on to the sun and Mercury in late degrees of Leo right now before um, August 22nd. And uh, so that means that there is a... There can be something unexpected coming up, um, some type of work situation where you may get some recognition with the Leo energy, or you could also um, have someone, you know, looking to create some type of career move for you. Um, there could also be a transitioning of something out that doesn't work properly or, you know, look out for accidents, especially whenever Mercury, Uranus are connected and um, Jupiter and Venus are in the top of your chart in career. Those are creative energies, children, creativity, and romance, the three that I love. And so um, literally today I've got Venus at two degrees, and that's exactly where my natal Venus is. So I'm in a Venus return right now. <laughs> Just realized that. But Jupiter right there means a lot of fortune, and the sun's shining down on your career, so it means people are paying attention to you in your career and other structures, um, systems such as government or uh, hierarchy within your career. So you're kind of the golden child right now. It's really awesome. And Neptune retrograde in the house that Leo rules, so it's over there on the other side of the chart, creating, um, you know, illusions being shattered around romance, creativity, and children. And so you may be thinking, you know, this isn't what I wanted, this isn't necessarily what I am uh, really used to, but until the middle of September when Neptune goes direct, you're going to be feeling this, um, probably more clarity, but it's... It's a bit difficult because Neptune traditionally likes to look at the vision and the beautifulness of something, the um, 
rainbows and sparkles and it's kind of the blooms off the rose right now until mid September and then you Scorpios will move forward with love and maybe you will even meet someone who is your dream person so anyway uh, we will see you next month my name is Shelley Overton and this is astrologerangel.com